You know who I am, I know who you are. Perhaps. But appearances can be deceptive. Yeah. What you're engaged in is blackmail. That is a felony, that's for starters. Appearances can be deceptive. I'm a mere good Samaritan. Secondly, the unauthorized dissemination of classified material is a federal crime. If you ever carried out your proposed threat, you would experience such a shitstorm of consequences, my friend, that your empty little head would be spinning faster than the wheels of your Schwinn bicycle back there. You think that's a Schwinn? No! <laughs> Give me the fucking floppy or the CD or whatever the fuck it is as soon and as I'll you be give on us the life. money, dickwad! This is why you called me here. Need a sounding board? Not 100% sure of yourself? Been dating yourself, maybe? I? Well, only a human. And I've made it clear for you then. Man of guidance, Don. Business of the soul. So this big conversation gets started up between the boys who suddenly Reckon themselves the leaders. They're deliberating as what we should do. Someone says drop a rock in his head. I'm looking in their faces and I can see they're either scared stiff or clueless. It's all bravado. And this fool on the ground. In real pain. All this chit chat going on, going nowhere. Next thing, one of the priests sees us. Sees the fool. Tells us not to move and we're done for. I mean, we're really done for. Group of boys will always get the blame for hurting a fool. Group of Belfast boys will get a hammering for sure. So it's clear to me in an instant, and I'm down on my knees, and I take the fool's head in my hands and I put him underwater. He's thrashing around a bit to start, so I press down harder until he's drowned. Priest arrives, though. He's grabbing me by the hair, dragging me through the woods, promising me a proper hiding. But I knew I did the right thing by that wee fool. And I could take the punishment for all our boys. I had the respect of them other boys now, and I knew that. I'm clear of the reasons, Dom. I'm clear of all the repercussions. But I will act, and I will not stand by and do nothing. You can leave them there if you like. Don't be rolling up the letters to St. John, do you? My asset. Who is he? Lee Noor. I don't want to know his name. I don't know what he does for a living. I want to know who is he. A loner. No kids, no family. 100% accurate and reliable. You mark him or he mark you? I marked him. He says he has the exact locations of all six sets of seizing. He's locked it on a disc. He says only if we get him out of the country and give him asylum will he open the disc. You gonna deal with this or you want me to handle it? I got it. This is serious, right? Oh, very. What? He's been accurate on everything else, John, 100%, and he appears driven and motivated by something other than funding. Fix this. Oh, it's gonna be fixed. Every one of these events occurred as a result of a failure of imagination. Your job is not to predict tomorrow based on yesterday. That's what academics do. Your job is to prevent the end of tomorrow by using your brains and your imagination. If you don't find the cesium before it's too late, 
You will be held responsible for the single largest intelligence fumble since a flight instruction school in Florida failed to grasp the significance of a 19-year-old Al-Qaeda terrorist saying he didn't need to learn how to land.